and for me, so Tech's regular season is now over. They finished mm-hmm. the year seven and five. Yep. Uh, and for me, the 2015 Texas Tech Red Raiders, their legacy will be what if? What if they had just an average defense? Yeah. Not a great one. Nobody's asking them to go out there and be Alabama or some, you know, yeah. outrageous defense. Just have the 62nd ranked defense. Yes. Yeah. Right in the middle of the pack. If yeah. you're right in the middle of the pack, could we be talking about a conference contender? Because that offense is so good. Yeah. And it's so much fun to watch yep. when they get going. Pat Mahomes, uh, you know, it, we said it at the beginning of the year that we were pretty sure that Cliff Kingsbury has found his guy. Yep. I don't think there's any pretty sure about it. No. Anymore. Pat at this, Mahomes is great. At this, yeah, at this point, he's, you know, as far as talent goes, he's got every argument in the world as the best uh, quarterback in the state. Uh, you can make that argument for a couple guys, obviously. Boykin and his cape, number one. Mm-hmm. Greg Ward Jr., pretty close. Uh, I'm kind of with you. Here's the thing. You know, watching Texas Tech, it's an infuriating team to watch <laughs> because they're not as good as they should be when you size up the town on the field, I feel like. But it's a funny thing happens um, when you go back and look at their schedule and their results. 7-5. Mm-hmm. Two losses, TCU and West Virginia. One is a fluke play. Yeah, miracle grab. One, yeah, one. You're you're right. One is a fluke play where they probably should have beaten them. And one is a five point loss to a team that they just should have beat. Mm-hmm. They're better than. They are eight total points from being nine and three. Mm-hmm. So That's you, amazing. So you think that if maybe they had some semblance of a defense they would be some semblance of a defense but also just it's hard to assess this team i mean Mm -hmm. consider where they were last year Mm -hmm. they're finishing seven and five right now in the regular season should they be better is this who they are is this is this exceeding expectations i don't know i asked the question last night when i tweeted this out to tech fans i don't know i don't know what the answer is because I've watched them more than anyone other than Tech fans. Yeah. And I, I feel like they're frustrating. And yet I look at that re- that schedule. Losses to Baylor, mm-hmm. Oklahoma State, mm-hmm. TCU, mm-hmm. Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. And then, That seems right. Yeah. And then well, who was their fifth loss to? West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. yeah. yeah which but, was uh, it, because the Morgantown. And they court beat court. Arkansas, a team that's right. looking better now mm-hmm. on the back end of the SEC schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think that I think that, and we'll have plenty of time to do post mortems on all these teams yeah. here on DCTF Live. Yeah. But I think that if you had looked at Tech from the outset, and you, I think they're kind of what we thought they were. We thought that their offense was going to be great, yeah, and it was, yeah, and we thought their defense was going to be bad, and it was, yeah. the The bottom line is that I think the 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 best thing they can have is some continuity on their defense. Yeah. Because they've run through about a million different defensive coordinators. There's It's some number, like eight coordinators in seven years. It's some absurd yeah. number. So I think that David Gibbs is the guy. I, do I just think he didn't have the bullets in the chamber this no. year. No. No, I, th- I think it was pretty thin. And I don't know. You know, and the, and the other thing, too, is I sit here and go, I expected him to lose more games than that games they should have won mm-hmm. but they didn't they came close they tried against kansas and kansas state <laughs> and kansas state they tried real but they hard. didn't and so in a way i think this is a successful season i think so too and i think that you you've got you've got a lot of key pieces coming back next year they're gonna they're gonna miss a few but yeah. you know you've got your quarterback coming back it's going to be very interesting to watch this team they might they may, may be the most interesting team to watch next year uh, for yes. now, it's a step forward. They wait for their bull bid. Cliff Kingsbury apparently pretty much out and said, we want to play A&M in the Texas Bowl. Which would be bowl. awesome. Oh, and, oh. The, and if you're the Texas Bowl, wouldn't you love that? I mean, you'd oh, sell yeah. it out. 